Um, Nabil Al Zaruni from the Abu Dhabi Tourism and Culture Authority. Good morning. Thank you for joining Breaking Travel News. A um, very successful weekend for you. Um, been in the global headlines with the Formula One Grand Prix. How is it for you? Yes, uh, we've hosted the last weekend the fifth uh, Formula One Etihad Airways Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. Mm -hmm. It is, uh, of course, the only twilight race, and uh, it's becoming a, a, a glamorous uh, meet on the Formula One circuit. Uh, lots of developments taking place uh, in Abu Dhabi, which is being promoted uh, during the world travel market. Sports tourism is a big, uh, a big part of that, it's a big part of your offering. You've got the Volvo Ocean Race coming up. Perhaps you could tell our viewers a little bit about that. Of course, uh, the Volvo Ocean Race, we're hosting it in December next year mm -hmm. uh, on our stunning uh, Corniche. Uh, we're going to build a, a destination village and we'll have a fortnight of uh, races, uh, entertainment, concerts, and celebrations uh, of all things nautical. So it will be the place to be uh, next Christmas and New Year. Uh, we're here in the UK, in London. It's a very important market for Abu Dhabi. Uh, visit numbers are up, and I believe people are staying longer as well. Yes. Uh, um, from the UK, we have uh, more than 109,000 uh, hotel guests. Uh, which is 10% up uh, compared to the same period uh, last year. And our average length of stay from the UK is uh, quite stable, between four to five days. And our aim is to keep it and hopefully increase in the near future. And there's more attractions for people to see when they do visit now. You've got Yaz Mall coming up, the biggest uh, shopping centre in, uh, in Abu Dhabi, I believe. Yes, uh, the Yaz Mall will open uh, quarter one next year. It will have uh, 450 shops, up to 10,000 parking spaces. And the prominent feature is the town square, which is the largest uh, gathering area uh, in any shopping mall in the Middle East. Uh, Yaz Marina also has new uh, retail, um, food and beverage outlets. Uh, so lots uh, happening on Yas Island and of course more hotels uh, coming up uh, in Abu Dhabi. Okay. I know something that people are very excited about, the two world-class museums you've got. Do you have an opening date for those yet? Yes, it's uh, going strong. Uh, the cultural district on Sadiat Island, uh, we're expecting the opening of uh, the Louvre Abu Dhabi in 2015, the Sheikh Zayed National Museum a year later, and the Guggenheim Abu Dhabi in 2017. Okay, well, thank you very much. We'll check back in a few months and see how the progress is going. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.